Assalamu alaikum students. Hello everyone. I hope you are all fine. In today's lecture of applied physics, we will study about Ohm's law. What is Ohm's law? How can we calculate the value of voltages, the value of current and the value of resistance that are included in Ohm's law? We will study all of these things in this lecture. So basically this is going to be an open-ended open -ended lab. In open-ended lab, this is the category in which I have I will just tell you the problem and I will explain the problem. You have to simply uh, find solution of that problem and give me the solution of that problem. So objectives of this labs are basically the to verify Ohm's law in simple series circuit. I have given you an objective that you have to verify Ohm's law by creating a simple series circuit. In that series circuit you have to show me that the value of voltage is this and the value of current is this that is explained in Ohm's law. Similarly in second objective you have to show me that value of voltage is and the value of current is this that are explained that in Ohm's law that how, how, how will react how uh, how will we calculate the value of voltage how, we, how can we calculate the value of uh, resistance and the value of current so for that purpose we have to study Ohm's law what is Ohm's law I have explained it here that Ohm's law uh, Ohm's law states that uh, the electrical current flowing through a fixed linear resistance is directly proportional to the voltage applied across it that electrical current and electrical current that is flowing through a resistance is directly proportional to the voltage across it we have applied a voltage of let's suppose we have applied a we have applied a voltage of 10 volts through a resistor of 5 ohm and a current is flowing through that circuit that current is directly proportional to this applied voltage and that current is also inversely proportional to the resistance so when we apply 5 volt voltages through a resistor and then current is produced in the circuit that current is, direct, is directly proportional to, to this applied voltage. As we increase this voltage, our current will increase. As we decrease this voltage, our current will be decreased. And that current is equal is inversely proportional to this resistance through which that current is flowing. So by increasing the resistance, the current will be decreased. And by decreasing the resistance, the current will be increased. That is basically Ohm's law. You have already a lot of knowledge about Ohm's law. You have studied in you have studied Ohm's law in, in your previous courses like you have studied it in uh, basic electrical engineering you, you you might have also studied it in electrical circuits and in this semester I think you have all you have also studied Ohm's law in your course network analysis so in applied physics you have all the knowledge of Ohm's law and you have to uh, analyze that knowledge in two problems that are basically uh, these problems uh, in which you have to show me Ohm's law implementation in series circuit and Ohm's law implementation in parallel circuit. So this basic information that I have written here, this information is just taken from this link. Just go at this link and you can have all this information and mm, more of other information. Uh, if someone of you doesn't know about, uh, if someone of you don't know about Ohm's law, what is Ohm's law, he can study or he or she can study Ohm's law from this link here. Uh, I have also tell here that told here that uh, V is equal to I R when volts is equal to okay. If we are calculating V, then it will be equal to I into R. If we are calculating I, it will be equal to V divided by R. And if we are calculating R, it will be equal to V divided by I. I have no concern from all of this theory. You guys have already. A lot of knowledge about this theory my concern is with the implementation of Ohm's law you just have to implement Ohm's law in a series circuit or in a parallel circuit you will do this task by using FET simulator here this is a FET you can also do you can also implement Ohm's law in other simulators like you have Proteus in your systems you you have you guys have MATLAB you guys have multi-sim so you just have to show me uh, the implementation of Ohm's law as it is your open open ended activity open this is a open ended lab so i just require i just want that you guys give me the implementation 
like here in fed simulator i have already implemented it i will just show you that how can you do this by using fed simulator if someone or if someone of you has implemented this uh, if someone of you wants to implement it in proteus he can do it he can do it on proteus if someone of you want to implement in it, it uh, implement it in multisim he can do it, it or, or he can do it do it on multisim but i will suggest that you have used uh, you have used the fed simulator for all of your labs so implement it in fed uh, in fed simulator so in fed simulator in simulations of physics you have here the category of electricity and magnets and in the category of electricity and magnets there is a lab that is uh, circuit construction kit with dc virtual lab this lab and circuit construction kit dc both labs are basically same both both labs are same you can open any one lab from this i have just opened this lab in a new tab here and here so in as in this circuit i have i have created a simple series circuit in this series circuit you can see there is a battery and these are the basically wires and this battery there is a load that is this load and in ohm's law we have three different things that were basically the voltage current and the resistance so here the voltage are derived uh, the voltage are produced by this battery you can change the battery by click here and changing the voltage is 11 the uh, before it was now this is a air 8.5 volts i just increase these voltages to the value of 14.5 volts so the voltage can be increased here so this is the voltage so by increasing voltage you can see the current also increase like here 14.5 volts battery produces 0 0.59 ampere volt uh, 0.59 ampere current when i increase this battery from 14.5 to 18.5 the current also increased to some value so by increasing voltage the current also increased that is the first part of the ohms law similarly you have to implement a parallel this is a series circuit you have to create it uh, in a parallel circuit uh, you, uh, how can we change resistance by we can change resistance from here uh, by increasing the wire resistivity by increasing resistance our current is decreased this is the second implementation of ohms law and uh, because this this resistance was the inversely proportional to the current by decreasing resistance the current is increased 0 0.76 and by when uh, when i will increase the resistance the current is decreasing so that is the second implementation of ohms law that uh, resistance and current is inversely proportional the first implementation was the voltage and current was directly proportional the resistance is not changed resistance is zero and the voltage is 18.5 current is 0 0.7 I will just increase my voltages the current will be also increased like here i have increased the voltage the current is increased so this is simply simple implementation in uh, series circuit how i have created the circuit uh, these are the parameters here on left side i will just show you uh, just a second resetting let me reset it i have reset it and uh, this is wire resistivity column this is battery resistance i just put here a battery and i put here a wire and i put here a bulb i can also put here some components like a resistor and a switch i will just show you that how to create a circuit these are some wires i will use these wires for my connections if i don't use if i didn't need any wire then i will delete that wire okay so i'm just going to use the battery here and this battery is connected to this wire here and this wire is and it is connected to this wire and let me move my second other wires here so simply this wire is going to be connected this bulb is rotated here you have to make this circuit in you can i'm, I'm telling you again that you can create this circuit either in uh, proteus or multi-sim or other simulators but if you create it here uh, if you produce this circuit if you model this circuit here in fed simulator then it will be more easy for you to understand things more clearly so here is a simple circuit that i have created here this is a switch and this is another wire and this circuit is completed in this circuit i have a battery i have a load i have a resistor this resistor is an this is an another resistor like this wire can also have its own resistance but this is another resistor i can also increase the resistance by increasing this resistor if i just turn on here the values so this is the switch basically which is turned off let me move but let me change this value this resistance the 10 ohm to 3 ohm 
टू पॉइंट फाइव ओम ओके सो नाउ मै बैटरी लेट मी इंक्रीज द वोल्टेज ऑफ बैटरी फ्रॉम नाइन टू ट्वेंटी वन ओके सो नाउ द बल्ब इज बेसिकली स्विच ऑफ द बल्ब विल बी स्विच ऑन वेन दिस स्विच विल बी टर्न ऑन स्विच इज टर्न ऑन नाउ द बल्ब इज ऑन ओके सो what is what is my current how can i measure my current the current can be measured by this ammeter we can use this ammeter this this is a modern ammeter just we have, we just have to put this glow uh, this thing on a wire it will uh, show us the value if i put here on the wire this is my value of my current there is another ammeter that we use in our lab for connecting this ammeter we just have to remove this wire here and we will make a series connection we will just make a wire from there to there at this point to this point when this ammeter will be in series it it, it will show us the current this is a conventional ammeter but this is a modern ammeter we can measure the current by just moving by just putting this point on our wire it is it is giving us our current so similarly we can also measure our uh, we can also measure voltage is by using this voltmeter by moving this one wire at this point and second wire at this point it will give us our voltage is that is our 16.80 volts these voltage are dropped here and here if i remove this resistor the voltage will be also changed so you just have to make an an implementation like this is a series implementation i have created an implementation in front of you and this is a parallel implementation that i have already created so just make these two circuits a of series and parallel and implement these things basically that the voltage is directly proportional to the current and current is inversely proportional to the resistance i want you to make this implementation of series and parallel circuits and submit me this lab report with the lab report of experiment number 10 and same day i think it's friday and 15 may so thank you very much if you have any question you can ask me i will i, I would love to uh, solve your queries so best of luck for this lab and that's it allah hafiz